So describe for the jury your interactions with Mr. Depp during the press tour. Well, on the first stop of the, well, first stop, the beginning of the tour was Los Angeles where we both li lived and we did a press day, normal press day, and then at the end of it, uh, I was invited uh, by Johnny to come up to his room to have a drink with uh, him and the director uh, of the film. And I went up to the room um, to see both him and Bruce, um, but as soon as I got there, Johnny said Bruce wasn't going to make it. So I stayed. Johnny and I started talking. Uh, I told, he asked me about my relationship. I said, well, you know, I'm going, I'm going through it. Um, I'm going through the separation right now, and it's been, you know, a rough couple of months, but that's normal. And he said, well, that's same with, same with me. You know, it's been, I, I can't remember exactly how long he said it had been, but that he had split from the mother of his kids and uh, said that he understood. All right, and then what happened next? Uh, then we drank red wine and continued to talk, and the talking became us, you know, uh, reconnect, you know, it was like reconnection was almost instant. Um, it was just chemistry, it's hard to explain that, but we sat on the couch and we talked, and, um, you know, it, it felt like there was a, uh, it, it felt like there was an electricity to the room, and that's how I felt when I was alone with him anyway, and it was instant again. I was like, whoa. So uh, on, the, on the couch, we, we talked, finished some wine, and then I got up and left, and as I went to leave, uh, he grabbed both sides of my face, uh, similar to what he did in, in, in Puerto Rico when we were filming that, that scene, and he kissed me, and I kissed him back. And what happened next with respect to any relationship with Mr. Depp? Well, then we fell in love. Uh, we went on this press tour, and we went, it, 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 was, it was a beautiful and strange time. You know, we went from, we are flying from one, not together, but, you know, going from one city to the next, Europe, um, New York, Los Angeles, as I said, and we're just traveling around talking about this movie that we did together, that we participated in together, and we were falling in love. I mean, it was just, you know, at the first dinner in London, he s sat me next to me. You know, he produced the film and was a part of controlling the film and was responsible for different things than I was as a small, as an actor having a small part in it. And um, we went on this press tour, and I think in London he sat had me sat next to him at this at a dinner and then we ended up spending the night together in my hotel room and for the rest of the press tour we were it, it was on I, i'll put it that way all right and how long approximately did the press tour go I don't know exactly how long it lasted. Uh, I think, you know, there were uh, press engagements in this city for a few days and then another city for a few days. And then there was a break and then, then there was another press opportunity, I believe. So it was kind of spread out over, a, over maybe a month, if I'm guessing. So when you returned to Los Angeles, what, if anything, took place with any relationship with Mr. Depp? Well, once we were back from the press tour, you know, we had this, you know, whirlwind romance kind of just in these, like, beautiful places all over, and we're falling in love and not able to really show it because um, he wasn't, that the world didn't know about the split between he and his former partner. And, of course, um, as a woman, I was like, is that troubling, you know, and I, I'd ask him, he, no, you know, he swore to me that they hadn't even shared a bed for a year and that they were, but they were protecting the kids and not publicizing it, so, or not making it known to the press, and so we kind of had to be a little bit under the radar, not a little bit, we had to be really under the radar, 
um, because as Johnny pointed out, that the world would blame me um, and call me a homewrecker, uh, even though I had nothing to do with it. So we were secretly dating, and then, you know, it was it was it was beautiful. It it was um, I felt like this man knew me and saw me in a way that no one else had. I felt he understood me. I felt he understood where I came from. I, I felt like, I felt that, like, when I was around Johnny, I felt like the most beautiful person in the whole world. You know, it made me feel seen, made me feel like a million dollars. And that kind of feeling where, you know, he just, lavish gifts and lavish expressions of love and how he had never met a woman like me. I mean, I remember he took the foil off of the, off of this uh, bottle and put it on my ring finger. And I had only been with him like days, you know, or maybe, maybe it was weeks at the time. Yeah, it was probably about a few weeks, but it just felt very intense. But we weren't doing normal life stuff. We weren't like stuck in traffic with each other. We weren't going to the grocery store and doing life. We were like hiding in these places around the world. He had a lot of, he has so many homes. And so we'd be in one of those homes or my home at the time. And it would be like a bubble, like a, like we were in this little bubble of secrecy and it felt like a warm glow, as we would say. Just music and, and, and the kind of, books that we both loved and poetry that we both knew by heart and it it was um it felt like an it felt like a, a dream it felt like absolute magic